Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a slushy machine. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make it. Begin by placing free white concrete on the ground. One, two, three. Place two rows on top. One, two. Then, on top of these white concretes, in this order, or your very own selected order of coloured concretes, place yellow, light blue, and then red concrete. Depending upon the height of the area that we're building in, you may be able to place warp slabs on top of this, but if you can't, that's okay. Extend them one row towards you, and then place the matching glass block in front of the concretes. At the base of the build, place a row of upside down smooth quartz stairs in front of the bottom of the white concrete area. And then, grab yourself some warp signs, flower parts, tripwire hook, light blue candle, red candle, and a loom. So, the tripwire hooks are meant to look like dispensers for the slushies. The flower part is of course just going to be a regular old cup, but, if you like this idea, and it seems as though that you cannot place candles on bedrock, or at least on upside down quartz stairs. You can place them on bedrock, but <laughs> not on upside down stairs. However, on Java, you are able to place candles on upside down stairs, and they sort of look like filled slushies. So that might be an option for you, but if you're on bedrock, it might just be better to forego that and have some parts. Or to simply replace the bottom row with light grey concrete or just regular quartz, and then you can add the candles. I'll leave that up to you though. Options, options, options. So, at the bottom of the machine, I'm going to place warped signs on these sides. And at the top, like this. So... On the sides of the glass and the concrete's just up top. On the sides of where the stairs would be if we had stairs everywhere. On the bottom and extending into the wall. Like this. And now, all we're going to do is we are going to make a banner. So, grab a loom. Light blue banner. White dye. Red dye. And some light blue dye. Throw down the loom. Crack it open. Place light blue a light blue banner in there then place white dye first of all place a vertical row of white on the left of the banner grab that put that back in then place a circle in the center of the banner grab that put that back in then if you like i'm not sure whether i like this effect or not but you might place the middle row of white straight through the banner grab that put that back in red dye in the banner and make the lower half of the banner red grab that put that back in finally put some blue dye in there and add a border boom there you go we have a slushy now if you want to you don't have to have the straw because let's place the banner first actually so, the banner, I like it just here on these sides. It seems as though that we forgot the signs on this side, which is a bit funny, but the banner just goes right in the middle where we have the two rows of exposed white concrete. And hopefully you guys can tell that this is a straw. This is a bit of a, like a top to a plastic cup, and the actual slushy is inside. If you want, you can put the straw on the opposite side. You can put it in the middle. You can change it around. And if you have space on this side of the machine, then you can also place another banner. So we can have that on both sides. However, it might be possible that your actual machine, depending upon where you've made it, it might not look exactly like this. You know, maybe you've placed it against a wall, which is perfectly fine. And it'd be better if the wall was a contrast to the white concrete. But, you know, guys, roll with me here. And it would also be possible. And again, let's, why don't we actually make this a slightly different color in that why don't we actually like make this a contrast material just so it's a bit easier to see what i'm talking about so if it were placed against a wall like this this fake wall that we've now added 
and if it wasn't as high, it still looks quite good in my opinion. So, yeah, there you go. I just wanted to give you a bit of a look at, you know, even if it wasn't perfect. And also, there is also the possibility that if you've only got room for it, I'd go for good old blue and red, and you can still have the exact same thing. So, again, this machine is quite malleable. Feel free to make it in any way that you like. Side note, something that I just discovered, which I'm very happy about, I thought that I'd share it with you. You cannot place a candle on an upside down stairs, even if you crouch, even if you place it against here. However, what you can do is place a smooth quartz block, or any block, candle, destroy underneath, upside down smooth quartz stairs. Great success. And that's it. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.